Alright, this is Bucket, and we're gonna be doing another coaching video today. And we're gonna be coaching Allison and or Bebe. His name in Discord's Bebe, but here it's Allison. So, we're coaching this pack one, right? And he's going against Bayonetta. This is the best of five, so it's gonna be a very long video. I apologize for that. But, regardless, we're gonna be coaching the set. Um, he doesn't switch off Bayonetta, and you don't switch off Pac Man. Uh, we do switch to do some stage swaps, but I think we go to Smashville and Town City. We'll explain that later, and not much to say there. Uh, Bayonetta, so what you want to look out for is her, how she approaches you. She approaches you with side B, she's going to, or um, whales combos, I think up tilt and to up air and to whatever, right? Basically, you need to look out for what she likes to initiate to initiate her combos. Like, most uh, Bayonetta's will just dance dance until you see an opening, like a, with an F smash or whatever, and then they'll do side B and they'll do 70, 70% or they'll kill you, right? Um, they also, when they're in disadvantage, they're trying to land on top of you or whatever, they always, always land and then do counter so they can counter your out of shield option. So don't do out of shield if they don't do anything, right? They're going to bait your out of shield option. And they're going to land on down air and sometimes air dodge, right? Those are the three main ways counter, air dodge, or down air. Those are the ways I see Bayonetta's land after they do little tricks. Because after they land, they have a lot of lag. So they don't want to land stupidly on top of you because they, um, they have about. A second of landing lag? It's, it's a lot of lag. It's a, plenty of time for you to punish. Like, throw a key at them, bell, grab, F smash, right? They don't want the... Obviously, they don't want that. Um, at ledge, the most common... Like, this is Wi-Fi. I don't know how good, how good this is, but... The most common bayonet option is drop down from ledge into side B. And whatever combo from there, right? Look out for that. Hold shit a bit more often than you would when let's shopping this kind of character. The same thing with Falco, right? Uh, and I'm just saying there. I was gonna... Right? See how you start neutral? This, I don't agree with this. Again, this is just a me, me thing, right? I like to jump here into the Hydra down here. That way we have some wall, and then I'm okay if you're getting down here. But basically, you lose stage control, right? You're already in disadvantage, believe it or not. Alright, so she jumps over the Hydra and holds shield, right? Good, we realize she hit the Hydra, so we the back guard, it's good. She air dodged out of the combo, and jumped immediately afterwards. Realize that she had land and lag again. Air dodge out of it again. It was capped at five yeah. The round boss is worth five yeah. minutes. Okay, so after, let me explain this. I'm sure you might know this. Uh, I'm just gonna explain it anyway. Round boss is worth so if you hit Bell at this distance and then she shields it, it'll bounce like right here, right? Instead of going through the shield. So just something to keep in mind later, so you don't have to like. So you can basically predict where the bell's gonna land, and you don't—you don't have to do anything stupid. You just get back regardless of them, right? Yeah. It looks like you didn't realize. It looks like you really thought that the bell was gonna land here. But yeah, if you hit the shield like right close distance, it's gonna bounce backwards. Keep that in mind. It's very good to know. Yeah, you're too slow. Yeah. Okay. Second time you've air dodged after landing on hydrant. Good players will catch on to this and will roll past hydrant and, ca and catch you landing with the uh, air dodge, right? So you're fine now. But if she starts catching on to it, I'm not gonna very, be very happy, right? Land of Darren or something. I think Darren might be able to be here up here. Maybe. I don't agree with that. And even got hit for it. That's good. Because now you're going to learn, right? So, um, with your... You should, okay. You whiffed your F smash, and you held shield afterwards, and she grabbed you. Next time spot dodge, right? So, first of all, you double jumped when you didn't need to. And then, you started charging fruit when you don't have double jump. This means that if you want to cancel this fruit charge, even though she's freaking raging at you with a side B, you you have to you force air dodge, and she can punish that easy, right? And instead, if you had double jump here, you could have just grab ledge, and when she's if she just decides to get past the hydrant, right? Here we go into this set. And we get hit instead. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say that's not very smart. That's not very smart. Double jumping, uh, double jumping, because double jumping is the best way to cancel fruit in midair, right? Here we go. And then. We don't grab ledge for some reason, and we waste the double jump again, and we land stupidly on top of a shield, and we get punished for it, right? We should just grab ledge there. We're gonna eat a lot of percent. Again, we had double jump. We could have just double jumped to grab ledge. You really, you okay, so what you're showing me is that you're really greedy with stage control, right? Yeah, you have to play patient. Have to, have to, have to. Was it landing down air? Uh huh. Landing down air. She saw that you didn't have enough time to punish her, so she did counter. Keep this in mind next time, and punish the counter next time, right? No, you got lucky. They did play, because I, I checked in their test chat before, and they were saying, oh, we get to rematch. Uh, yeah. 
I would have just gone for Belle, honestly. Interesting. Um, maybe won that, obviously. Okay, so she waits and then she rolls in, right? Because um, you you kind of spread it over here. So she's patient. Keep that in mind. She up here. Yeah, she lost time too. Oh wow. That's just I'm gonna go for Galak here. Put the hydro down, right? Okay, so imagine if we did this and there's a hydrant right here, right? So either she hits it and she's not edge guarding you, or um, she doesn't deal with it and then it's uh, more damage when you recover, when you have the Galica, or it's more of a distraction when you're trying to recover back to stage, right? It was meant to be revived before the fight. fight Sorry. Oh, I was just supposed to that. Yeah, me too. Oh, well. Okay. Watch that again. You could, you have plenty of time to throw a Galka there. If you're scared, like if you, if your opponent's like doing nares right here, you could just like jump back, get back, and jump back right about here, throw Galka, and then, but like high enough to where like uh, say more right back here, so you could di back a stage and do a forward air and then back here, right? Oh, that's close to that. There's there's a distance. Yeah. Oh, well. So we uh okay never mind. Fortunately, no. There's a landing down there, and she holds shield afterwards, but because she realized that you weren't going to punish her, uh, she just let go shield. And when you push the shield, hit shield again. She's probably looking for up the outer shield. <laughs> ah, she baited you. There's an air dodge. That's a landing hydrant again. For F throw. Ah, unlucky. Okay, look for air. She's going to look for air dodge here. I lied. <laughs> You're air dodging a lot after this hydrant, right? Okay, <laughs> she did the the job down side B thing, and you got you did you down air. That's what's good. Out of shield option is side B, right? Keep that in mind. Jumped off the platform. It's a side B. They were, yeah. She's not really doing the same uh, platform option. Like some some of the people I coach will just do the same thing. I'll jump down here, they'll jump off, or they'll do this at the same time every single time, right? This she's to kind of mixing it up, so it's a little dangerous for you, right? Jumped over the hydrant. Here we are. Oh, the ch uh, the okay, so it gets banned at it. It's kind of hard to um, edge guard her because if you mess up, um, you're gonna you're gonna get dealt percent, and you're gonna lose stage control. So I would just jump off through hydrant safely, or through still cherries like you were, right? And then get ready for her to side B back on stage because a lot of bayonets do this, or they'll up B and then side B, side B, right? Uh, strawberry not Diagonal side B. Side. I don't know if you knew that you can abuse a super armor, but like, I Ooh, don't. Yeah, that's got armor. So armor much armor. Through it. <laughs> there it is. I'm gonna go with the key here. <laughs> okay, I gotta still do that more often. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. good. <laughs> that's pretty good. I, I would put the chapel in here or something, right? But now we lost stage control. Again, there's a landing ladder I was talking about. You gotta punish off that. It's good. We're charging fruit instead of establishing stage control. Yeah. Right, dash in, dash back, back air. This is like common because Pac-Man has to commit. So if he wants to do a forward air, he needs to commit because he has to die at the DI forward. I mean, he can still DI backwards, but he, you know, it's not that big of a disjoint. Right, so he baited a forward air out, out, out of shield or panic option, right? Be rid of that. A lot of players do that. They're like, they'll bait a forward air out of shield and then they'll bait the landing forward air and they'll S smash you, right? Nah, it's not safe on landing. Oh no. Uh, Second time she held B, you can, you can definitely punch that. Smash Bros. Oh, fuck that. No Smash Bros. Okay, so Apple Key and Apple Key and, and uh, um uh, d d Bell will kill him right now, or now Smash or Becker, right? Good coverage. I like that. Oh, nice. Let me go for Galka again. Again, I would prefer I put the Hydra down first and then like throw the uh, Galka here and bounce it off or throw it up here, right? Stuff. You're gonna throw it off the stage, but. Imagine the hydrant is here. Just, just a little bit more safety even when you're trying to get back to the stage, right? Oh, and if she hits it, and then you jump out and do the Galka, that's another 10-14% to her, right? Good. Oh, that's unlucky. I hate that so much. I should have not be a thing. Good. For, uh, is it the first time she new to text? I have no idea. I haven't been paying attention to that. My bad. Okay, that's very dangerous. Because last time she landed on top of the platform, and you're, you're going to look like you're going to be punch it, and she did counter, right? This time she didn't. A massive deficit. She held this the uh, the, side, the side B again, right? You can definitely punch that. I don't agree with smashing the hydrant when your opponent's right there. You could have definitely got comboed right there, right? 
I guess she keeps... Bandos have habits uh, from jumping from ledge. It's a good thing we're taking advantage of that. Good. Oh, that's, what, that's what I was talking about. Do not edge guard. Don't jump off. Just throw fruit, right? Throw hydro down, right? Do, if you jump off, I might be right. You're not going to get anywhere. See? You lost such control because you got greedy with the down air. Just throw fruit at Bayonetta and throw hydro down at her, right? And keep stage control. Keep stage control. Keep stage control. You want to let Shepard, right? Very important. Okay, I, I was scared because of the same situation last time, right? You miss, you whiffed a grab. She dashed in, dashed back, and you whiffed, you whiffed, you did, you. She baited a forward air, right? I, again, I don't agree with S-Mashing Hydrant in neutral. Yeah. Ooh, it's quite a better lag. Oh, you could have grabbed that, because she likes to hold shield off the whiffing, right? Oh, we know this. There's the back throw. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what I gotta see about this is keep stage control instead of jumping off and be greedy against Bayonetta. Throw fruit, throw hydrant, I don't care about that. But keep stage control, keep stage control. Unless you know, like you're going against a Captain Falcon or whatever, and he keeps it going low. Like, you know, he double jumps right here. Then go, yeah, go for a Go for whatever, right? But it gets Bayonetta when you can easily just lose um, stage control super easily against Bayonetta. Don't, just stay on stage. That throw fruit. Game. You have projectiles. No reason to go off stage, right? So. That's the biggest thing I want to say, and you keep doing the hydrant into air dodge thing. Good players will catch them to that, and um, t -t 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 out of shot options. Gabby would be ready for that, right? Game one, the uh, number two there. Next game, G game number two. <laughs> so we got uh, this is Smashville. Wyatt, you're gonna come here and be a menace. I know you are. Yep, you're already being a menace. Love you, though. So, I uh, got game number two here. We got Smashville, and we got some characters, right? Like I said, we're just going to some characters for this for the set. It, it, right? Hey. That was a boss grab. Uh, what about you? Get a meatball so No, my, my, my order's weird. Okay, so we burnt double jump for no reason right there. Yeah, probably take off about this. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I might not. I, I've literally only That's good. Using the wire to get up there faster. Don't do that to my cat material, please. Thank you. Love you. We should take again. This is the second time. I, I've seen, right? Uh, and she likes to... You piece of... I'm sorry about this. Alright, where was I? Uh, something happened. Uh, she, like, she held shield after whiffing or something. Uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so anyway, we're gonna back throw. I, I would've went for fourth throw, so we less chopper, but whatever. Right? Uh, F smash would have reached that. So I, uh, I get a meatball sub with um, olives. Air dash over combo again. South. Kinda scary. And, uh, southwest. Again, we're, we're burning Delgem and Lenny Hydrant, right? So it's kinda, it's, yeah, yeah. Delgem's a really good um, See, escape option if they jump off that to you, right? With, with the disjoint. Like, Hell, she'll jump off the platform again. I've, I'm, really being, I'm seeing that a lot more now. Like, Takes a lot of the boxes for like yeah, that's the option that we need to be looking out for, right? This is the landing lag too. She, when she burns like two up, up two up B's, two side B's, she's gonna have a second of, um, landing lag. We can probably get an S smash here. Oh, I hate no, we can't. We should just come for grab. My girlfriend is triple agent. They always have olives on like everything, and that's when I learned. Oh, these are awful. I hate. So it looks like she's approaching the shield a little too much. It's, once you see your approach, just grab her, right? Tell her no. You don't approach the shield, <laughs> right? Air dodge. Thank you. So I have to like remove my olives. <laughs> you didn't need to burn air dodge and double jump though. Like she could have killed you right there. So you waste a double jump and air dodge here. This is a free. This is a free edge guard for her. What's happening to my pencil? There it is. So. Very dangerous. She could have done something with that, but she got scared because of the hydrogen stalling. Okay, this is what I was talking about. You've been nearing out of shield every single time she approaches you. Because, uh, instinct. This is a habit that we need to get rid of fast. Because she's going to keep abusing this encounter, right? And you got killed for it. Not good. Bannon has loved to do that. Possibly. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> Why are you not typing in all caps? How can you be like 
I think if I just told to just go KFC. <laughs> That's the one. I'll be honest, meatball subs with extra health humans, but the meatball subs have lots of health. Go Bell here. So we throw Bell, it's gonna land right about here, and what I've seen, Bayonetta is, if this Bayonetta is very impatient on ledge. So we're gonna throw Bell here, and we're going to decide, is this Bayonetta going to roll, or is she gonna jump, or is she gonna get an attack, right? Let's see what she does. Ah, uh, so we could we could have definitely gone for F smash because like I said, we throw we throw Bell here, we throw it down again because again, so if you throw it down immediate, the only time that you throw it down immediately after throwing it here is if you know that your opponent's do an action off the ledge fast, right? And if you think that you're, she's gonna panic because you, she sees Bell here and roll, then come back here, throw Bell here. You have plenty of time to do it. I promise you. Or you just stay back, you just dash back and F smash here and cut this area, right? Okay. The smart thing to do there is wait if you throw it down immediately. Yeah, I can see that. So you gotta stop edge guarding her. Oh, Apple kill here. Oh, ah, second time she's done this. Second time she's done this. We can be baiting her, right? So imagine this is big brain play, right? We throw orange at her. She holds shield side B. We stand here and we up smash her. Up smash, right? Oh, I, would, I, I think he's doing it on Hyda because I don't, it was just a, a conversation that happened in like a oh. Discord call the other night where Hyda made a Nutella and a cheese wrap and everyone was like, "That was good." Oh, Losing water back here. I, I like seeing that stuff. <laughs> uh, I, I think you're going for the water to push into her, I think. But it looks like you're trying to grab it. We go for Galk here. And please throw Hydra down. Okay. I should have to do that, because I've had this happen a few times. If you're going to jump up here and catch Galk up here, do do not throw Hydra down. And if you're going to throw Hydra, uh, throw Galk down here, or throw off the stage, go put the Hydra down, okay? Because if they put the Hydra down and they F smash it, the Hydra's going to be projectile for them, a free projectile for them, right? But if you go down here, the hydra's is not big of an issue. Um, I don't know. It's like it's it's healthier. To it's also, some it's still you're still eating like an entire loaf of bread with your sandwich. It's definitely not ah, healthier. Ah, very good. Yeah, it's healthier than like. If you okay, so food, disadvantage. We gotta be scared. We gotta be. This is very scary, right? Yeah. Bam, she's a disadvantage. What is she looking for right now? What do you think she's looking for? She's looking for side B. She gets side B and she does 40% or kills you. Well, no, she's not going to kill you after that, but still. She's going to do 2%. Like right? So we shouldn't do that. We should have disengaged and immediately after hitting that forward error, foul foul, and then punish whatever uh, panic option she did. And then uh, let's jump through edge guard order, right? Well, not edge guard. Throw, hide you down, throw fruit, don't jump off. Please, 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 please. Um, Very scary. No. You know, I'll jump. Air dodge, That's thank the you. potential to be a healthy, fast food. It's not. It's not really good for you. No, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it is. Oh, no. Unfortunately, it's the only. Okay, Genko. Um, oh, you didn't jump high enough. It looks like. I think you didn't jump high enough. Let me see that again. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it is. Oh, no. Unfortunately, it's the only. Um, uh, maybe you didn't jump fast enough. I, I have no idea. Oh. Well, like we have, there's a pizza place. Good. Okay, so spot dodges this time after whipping that smash. Last time I think she um, I uh, just shielded. Let's give information to have. Uh, if you want right. lunch, it has to be subway. I smash. Why didn't we smash that? Chip. Chip. No, uh, uh, we killed her anyway, so we, we, it's a kill anyway, but you should have smashed it, right? Okay, we should have knew. Okay, this is m more sort of a Nick pick. It does happen. It happens to all, all of us, right? But this is the, we need to be we need we need to be Pac-Man, right? <laughs> we need to think of all things, right? We need to think of what fruit we want, we, what where's the hygiene at, and what what is our opponent gonna do with the stuff, right? And how much more charges of water do we have? So once we jumped, we should have gone, oh, there's water, and then we should have knew that after jumping off water, it, would have, it was going to throw us up here, right? And instead, we kind of panic, we air dodge, we don't get Galaga back, right? It's more of a nitpick thing, just we got to be thinking of all of our projectiles and uh, where our opponent is and where we are, right? Oh. <laughs> the Hydra made, she couldn't pick up the uh, Galaga. Okay. Um. She's looking for the out of shoot option again, right? You know you're on Big Eye Fan, right? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like no. you just give it. Okay, so her last jump option right now is just back air. Jump back air, jump back air, bunch of back air, right? No. Oh, you can see. She did it right after. There's a side B, into da uh, side B off of thing. I, I haven't seen her do it down there afterwards, though. Just, uh, screenshot all these and put them on Twitter. That'd be good. Oh, 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 Expose. Expose. Oh, good go again? Oh, my God. That's so unlucky. I'm scared of it being uh, not secret. We gotta go to the lab. <laughs> Practice that because it's a really good combo. Like if they neutral tech or they don't miss tech at all, and you get a forward air when you have Galka in pocket, it's a free kill, right? Amazing. It's amazing. So just go ahead and practice that. Like every single time you start playing or whatever, and practice it, do two two oh, ginkles or whatever, oh, and then play, right? Oh, that's, oh, that's unlucky. And again with the stupid, stupid edge guards.
Oh, that's true. That happens. It, it, it will happen. Just don't panic. But I know, oh, shoot, I handled that. I deserve the kill, right? Just play patient. You need to play patient. And you go, okay, whatever. We're just going to let Shepard, right? We're going to make sure she does not side B back on stage. And if she does, I'm going to bell her into side B or up smash if she's low enough, right? But doing this, we lose stage control. Very bad. Very, and we jump aggressively, which is very easily punishable. There's a side B to greedy uh, state. Uh, state uh, okay. Good job. <laughs> so, I'm seeing a lot a lot of things that you need you could be fixing here. Prize is Ginkgo. It's a very good combo, right? Um, stop edge. So you need to stop edge. Good banana. You need to prioritize blood shopping. And um, that's that's the biggest things I want to see right now. Okay, it's getting to the game number three, and uh, and it looks like she wins the next two games. So I see why you lose, right? All right, we got Gamer Three here. We got some characters and different stage. We're going to be playing a town and city this time, so it's a bigger stage but smaller horizontally, right? And we got the platforms up here, right? They move in and out. A lot of games you can do, but we're not going to be worried about that. We're going to be worried about her, right? <laughs> we we got all the bails. You got all the pack. I've been seeing that a lot. You've been shielding into grab actually, the, the very punishable. Yeah. And, and I, I hate how you burn Delgem after throwing hydrogen down. It's a really good mix up in case she tries to approach you, right? You force air dodge. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> we literally have three bears on the last uh, up air traffic. Yeah. Right here. She's gonna go back here or something, right? I I take the back. I'm a liar. She, I I think she goes from back here when you got kill percent. I take the back. My bad. Cactus breakfast, and it's also the final one. So. Yeah, it's also There's a line encounter. We gotta look out for. So. <laughs> this is a bit late to get on the cat back. But She's looking for the air dodge right there. If she air dodge that, that would have been a sick. Okay, so again. We gotta be big brain. We have to be thinking about these things. We, we, we gotta be go. This, this is the third time or fourth time this has happened. You threw the, the, the other two or three times were orange. But this time it's Galka. You throw a, a fruit out of her shield and she does side B. Because she knows that you're gonna go try and run up here and re catch your fruit. Just throw your fruit as bait, up smash. Or up t in this case, I would do up tilt so you could do more juggle stuff, right? Oh, my bad. The Galka came in clutch there. And again, the panic grab. We gotta get out of the habit. There's an aggressive side beat that we've been punching off the list. Um, the burning delve jump into ch ch charge fruit again, very bad also. What do you think she's gonna do? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, that's good. I like that. But I don't like this. What the frick? Look, we're a little more disadvantage right now. Okay, I take the back because she has landing lag, but still. Okay, that water's gonna push her. She jumps though. Oh, she jumped back back into it. We got apple. I'll go for apple here. Um, instead of throwing it just at her, I would have uh right here. Go for apple. Hydrant, Nair, Apple. Uh, the Hydrant's gonna go up here, and then you can throw Apple here, right? This is gonna cover jump, uh, Nucci get up and hold onto ledge while Apple covers roll, right? Uh, is it the first time she's done Nucci get up to roll? Yeah. I'll pay attention to that now. Yeah, Again, the stupid side beam, we'll be punching that. that um, shield after landing, we can grab here. Because uh, it counters counter and shield, this landing shield, right? I want to talk about that because I, I I also had this habit that I need to get out of too, and that is charging through and disadvantage. Right, your opponent is right freaking here in your safe bubble. <laughs> you don't want to be charging through. You want to be dying outwards so she doesn't hit you because she's not going to commit to this, right? She wants to come out the stage. Let's trap you. Oh, I took the back. Okay, that was very smart. You're going higher. Oh, nice. I like that. She doesn't have um okay. So bam, she's grabbing ledge and then she loses she loses um ledge of vulnerability. And oh. then but here, if you had fast fall down air, she was dead. I I think that might have been untouchable, right? Oh. Or throwing a hydra down. Or just waited and down to zero because she has no longer has ledge of vulnerability. Or back aired her. Yeah. I should just grab ledge, right? Oh. 
What? Wait. I threw into the melon. Which is still <laughs> on the platform. That's so common. Why, why are people still... I'm sure pa most of the common okay. pack one tricks are like, I, out I of it. Whatever. See the melon before. Yeah. Okay, she oh, sees <laughs> baiting with <laughs> F-Mash. Okay. The Galka. I, I didn't see Yeah, so it. players will do this. I, I see this pretty often. Like, right when you hear it and about to grab a ledge, they'll throw a, a, leggy, a, a laggy F-Smash to bait a, a panic... A, a, um, a quick option for you, and then hold shield, and then the punch you, like, like you did, right? We could have been a little bit more patient there. We're burning the up again, and we're air dodging. A good players, good players will catch on to this, okay? This character's funny. I like watching Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man's crazy. Again, we're burning double jump, throwing the hydra down, and we're air dodging. Like, we're doing the same thing over and over again. And this bayonet is just pushing buttons, yeah, right? People, people for that, but no, Pat Jumps up the hydra again. Pat it's, just, it's so goofy. I hate playing him because it's annoying. Through the food and shield, and what do I just go inside me? You burn your double jump, you're not double jump anymore. Okay, side tilt it, nair it, I don't care. You want to be the second person to hit this hydrogen, right? Oh, always. He mained pac in Smash 4, put a bit of one, yeah. Yeah, he mained Pac-Man in Smash 4. Okay, so you're getting very antsy, I see. Look, let me do panic options. Bam, landing back air. Yeah, he mained pac shield, landing back air again. Narrow shield. Like, you, you're just spamming buttons. You're not thinking. You gotta get her off of you. Right? That was fine, because we're mixing it up. Fine, thank you. He's different, though, is the thing. Yeah. It's the same. <sighs> Alright. If, if, she, if, she, if she hits you here... I'm not going to be happy. Oh, Frick! <laughs> Come on! Moscow is a job. Stupid side B. We need to be punishing this so we can let's chap it, right? And so we're just getting a Galka. Which and we're not even punishing freaking the six times she done that, right? So yeah, no, we didn't give you the right time prediction, but that's fine. Yeah. There was no way to know that uh, Bloom wouldn't even show up. Good, thank you. You didn't get you didn't you didn't get antsy in line on stage. Uh, you went to the late ledge. ledge. I, I do appreciate oh, yeah, that. That's good. As well, like the volume of game five sets we've had. Yeah. You've been uh, burning your dodge out of your combos. Bayonetta's will like just fast fall down and then we'll just uh, keep you at disadvantage because you don't have dodge jump anymore, right? I haven't seen any Bayonetta's do that, but I imagine it could happen. Yeah, strong stuff. So why I pushed you into it? So now you're aware of the hydrogen water, right? But like earlier with like, when you're trying to be recreate, I'm Galka, Pac-Man. Really I'm coaching, I swear. Has learned, if I just throw out F smash, it, oh, that hits below platform? That's, oh, that's I bad. think it'll be, it'll be oh, character like, dependent yeah. on like how far the hit was above ledge when you're chilling. Okay, so you're a kill percent. Banna likes to go back back here because her kill options are kind of vague, right? As like one seventy percent, she's gonna go for forward throw. Uh, right now, she's going for back air or F smash or up smash or down smash, right? Her kill options are not there. Can you have mod back? When did I remove At this percent. You probably did something to You could go for grab. A very laggy F smash. You could definitely go for grab. She F smash the hydrant. You, free grab, you right? You just go into it. She really wants to close out this set, I, think. I don't agree with that smashing hydrogen in neutral, by the way. Everyone here should know Camp called you yesterday just to lie to me that he had a big fridge. What the fuck does that I saw the counter come out. Okay. Alright, we got the cape. Because whenever you throw a uh, Galka, she has either a counter or a side be waiting for you, oh, right? Yeah. We gotta be paying more patient as soon as we throw fruit at her, right? Because she she wants to smack you upside the head for throwing fruit at her. <laughs> I got to say about this. I'm not, I'm I'm seeing the kind of same things over and over again. 
And you're not adapting to the stupid side B out of shield. You're not adapting to edge guard it, love trapping her, because she keeps side being back to stage. You keep jumping off to edge guard her. You're not love trapping her properly. Um, that's why I guys submit this, right? Uh, skin next game. All right, we got Town City again. We got same characters. Not much to say there. Um, she did play aggressively while you charge fruit. So let's see what happens this time, right? Same thing. You charge fruit. She jumped. She pushed up there, right? We're on a loose stage to show for some reason. Okay. As soon as we saw that side B, we we had plenty of time to go up here and nair or uh, forward air the hydrogen and smack her up the face, face, right? Plenty of time. There we go. I want to support that actually. Here, you have a Galkin right now, right? So I want to, in this area, I would say it's pretty dangerous to do a Galka because uh, most players won't like to jump to approach. But dash attack or jump grab is kind of not common, right? Because the aerials are super good, right? <laughs> So, this is what I like to call, right about here, the Galka Danger Zone, right? <laughs> Dan I I'm not going to spell this out. It's basically Galka Danger Zone, right? So, she jumps, and this, this Galka is not going to hit her, and you have, like, 22 frames of lag, because it's in your pocket. So, you have so much lag, and she's going to jump on top of you, right? Exactly what happened right there. And we lose Galka. We jump aggressively on stage again for some reason. And, again, better players will smack you upside the head for it. I, I promise you. I don't remember that gun. Oh yeah, it timed you out. I didn't ban you. Didn't know that removed mod. That's fine. Yeah. NS3 society. We live in a society. I have been told. <sighs> Amy's happy they're running a fight just since last night. That's not necessarily the case, because... This stage obviously You're doing the same things over and over again. To look to win and take more. You're gonna throw Galga here and she's gonna do side B. There we go. Much better. Oh, that's a stop. Oh. No, it's not. Three ginkos we could have. Three ginkos and we messed them all up. You gotta go to the training room and pick to practice that. Oh, F smash. He took all three stops last game with F smash. We had that was a free up smash. We could have smashed her. No, no, no. That was that was amazing already. Now she does side B. She gets another free side B. She recovers, right? Well, she makes it anyway. But still, we like she has stitch control now. We burn a double jump. It's stupid landing aerial again. There's landing aerial again. As a landing air dodge. Because <laughs> oh, he's probably waiting for you to land stupidly again. Oh, okay. Um, you keep landing kind of predictably. Land of that. You don't have a hydra down anywhere. Land a hydra, stall in midair, DI outwards or grim lodge, right? You're in disadvantage. You don't want to land like the, with an aerial or an air dodge, which is exactly what happened, right? Very bad, very bad, very bad, very bad. We go off the bell here. Okay, she likes to approach with shield. So what we can do is we can... One second. We th we got Bell here. We cannot grab her because we have Bell, so we can't push any A buttons and we cannot push any um. What's well, we can push B buttons basically, and we can't grab right. So what we do is we go. Okay, my opponent's gonna shield obviously because she likes to approach the shield. So we go. We wait here. We just sit here and we stare at her and we go. Do something stupid, please, so I can kill you. So and those stupid options are either going to be a roll towards you, roll behind you actually, roll away, jump, or attack uh, the side B out of shield right. All of those are punishable. We just sit here and we stare at her and we stare at her and we go, "Drop shield, please, madam." <laughs> and, and so she jumps. You throw bell up and we do like a side B or a backer up air, um, or we wait for her to land and we reset the same thing over again. But if she keeps jumping and she keeps jumping between platforms and platform, she platform camps you, we just go for a, a bell throw to side B because it, it'll you'll sit there forever, right? She rolls, it's reactable. Throw bell down. Uh, she rolls away, chase it down, throw bell at her face, S smasher, right? Or we just catch on to habits, but just throw him bell at her. I would wait, right? Wait to see what she does. And if something obvious, we can punish. Stupid landing back air. Stupid landing air dodge. <laughs> we focus more on DIing away from her, like that. That was actually amazing. We DI'd away from her. We grab a ledge. We're safe again, right? So focus more on DIing away from her and not so much landing on top of her with an aerial or an air dodge after in its advantage, okay? Or land at hydrogen. That is so dumb, and we're getting away with it. Same thing with this. She's gonna land freely on the stage. It's looking like it. 
Apple gun setup. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Which, what the fuck? <laughs> Did you see Stop that? Um, no, I butchered the chat as it happened. Be more patient here, because she's she's gonna dash back and she's gonna bait options. We either get a free roll or we just uh, she just needs to be like an upbeat here and then she lands with the Newton Shear and we could just do Galga there, right? She did the thing where you throw the apple at the hydrant and it goes on the other side of it and like sends it flying. It looks really funny. Oh, that was nice. Nuge again? Okay. Oh, Good knowledge. Oh. oh, I never see up tilt. That was clean. Up tilt yeah. in the cover. I'll go for Bell here, honestly. Oh, here's a go go again. Oh, wait. What a fucking zero to. No. We gotta go to the chain room. Uh, oh, miss. That, that's, that's a bit. That was like four ginkgos that we missed up. That sucks so much. Okay. We feel Bella here, and what do you think she's gonna do? She's either gonna counter or she's gonna do side B, and I already see the side B coming out. Uh, on right? any of a character, that was like a, such, such a sick zero to death. Mm -hmm. We get really greedy with the bell. Basically, you're panicking. I, I see that you're panicking so, so much. Now to shield. You're grabbing a uh, shield, right? You're landing on aerials, air dodging. Yeah, like, yeah. you're super scared, I can tell. I don't like it when they go characters' properties like that. Air dodge, charge of fruit and disadvantage, right? Not much to say there. You, I already said everything else. Scan the gamer five, right? All right, we got gamer five here. We got PS two. We start on PS two, by the way. Um, same characters. Not much to say. Let's see what happens, right? Got the champion for defense. So champion here. That means that she either knows that you can run here, cancel with flag, and then air dodge and land safely. Well, not safely, because she's air dodges and you can grab her. Just cancel free charge to grab her, or she's gonna. For, be forced to jump, okay, right, with that trampoline there. The she doesn't have any projectiles that will not. hit you. Uh, and honestly, jump. D uh, ben has jump, projectiles, cover jump. That's not right. If you only beat Puff. That's crazy. That's crazy. Is that a stock? He has minus three match. Let's see why we get hit there. So we can prove that. Never go, okay, wow, my opponent just freaking zero to death to me because of a stupid combo. Never think that. We should always be thinking, why did I get zero to death? Why did she start that combo? Why did that happen, right? Do not do not get that negative mentality of, oh, that's a stupid character. Oh, no, he should not have zero to death me. Yes, it's dumb. I, I've gotten zero to death by Luigi mains. It sucks. And in tournaments, right? But we should always be thinking, why did I get grabbed by that Luigi at zero percent? I mean, it was very obvious, right? Why did I let him do that? Let's see what you happens. Let's see what started. Let's see what starts. It starts do the combo, right? So we land an air dodge again. That was, the air dodge there was fine. That's not right. We, we burn Dell jump. We burn air dodge again. Very, very, very bad. That's the first thing we, we did. Bam! We went. We land shield, and then we didn't. We don't hold shield long enough. She hasn't been grabbing you. Like I don't think she grabbed you once. You only beat Puff. Right. And just like that. Because we burned Delgium and Air Dodge, and we didn't hold shield long enough, we got killed. So think of that, and then not, oh, she just zeroed out death to me on the stream, right? Don't worry about it. It's not a good mentality to have. I don't know what you're thinking, but it should not be the Bayonet is a dumb character, right? We should be thinking, oh, I'm done. I, I'm dumb. I should not have burned Delgium in Air Dodge, right? That's crazy. He loses minus. You should be a little bit more patient. That's why. Shower, yeah. No, we've got two more sets. Two more sets. Minus three to Kirby. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> That's wild. Also, look. Why, why are we air dodging? I missed that. What the fuck? There's oh, no reason to air dodge. Okay. Yeah. That's not Ginko because she <laughs> didn't. You weren't close enough, I don't think. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I was so distracted by Robbie's awful one. Okay. She has been contesting you, she has been jumping up here, right? So, air dodging here is totally okay. You could you could have gone away with that the entire game, because she has been punishing that. But the instant she started punishing that, we got we to adjust, right? Wi -Fi. But because she hasn't been, it's totally free with landing like that. Oh, is that? Yeah, you, yeah to the right and down, okay. we're fine. We got to be paid. Do not look at your fruit when you're charging it. Look here. Always look to your opponent. Okay? Uh, sure. We we got stage control because the key we should take it instead of sitting here in the no, corner. I didn't the Sorry, Robbie's dis so distracted by Robbie. Let me get bell here. That's what he gets. He posts such a, a, a green up smash. Let's go. I can't even. Okay, if we're gonna go down here, put the hydrant down here first. Thanks, right? yeah. That was very dumb. Uh oh, Does that suck? No. 
Huh? We're getting very antsy. Because, like, oh, no, I had a 2-0 lead, and I'm losing. I got zero to death on a third game. Oh, no. Just get relaxed. You can you can take some... Pac-Man can destroy Galka and Bell very quickly, right? Pac-Man can rack up percent. Never lose hope. You can, you can do it. We should have been aware of the hydrant, the water, right? And I don't agree with f smashing hydrant in neutral. You got lucky with that one. This stupid side B after throwing fruit thing, right? There's a back guy kill percent when you're left. Just roll. She's not covering roll at all. Or the neutral tech, right? She's neutral tech again. Oh no, she's gonna side B. Added to smash. Did you burn air dodge there? The straight back air is gonna send her flying. No, you could air dodge. Instead of doing up air for absolutely no reason, we should have done an air dodge. That's the stop. Second time she's been taken out by them. Mm. It's so hard to get around them. Yeah. Especially with that. You kind of have to drop. We burn air dodge. We did burn double jump again. That's very bad. Because now you're gonna be compelled to uh, air dodge or land stupidly with an a a attack, right? Good. So, okay, same situation. Oh no, she doesn't do that time. I was just saying, never mind. I thought you she did it there though. Speaking of, oh, no. We gotta practice that. It could be that she's DIing it, mixing you up. It's not looking great for. I don't agree with smashing hydrogen neutral. Bell here, good. It's very obvious that you're going to do that, right? You're holding shield, but you just put the hydro down, like... Yeah, we need a little bit more inconspicuous about it. Let me show you, for example, right? Put the hydro down, we split up here, we throw back, we bow backwards, and the, the, the water pushes it, or something like that. Or, um... We just, we, we can be, right? Yeah, you got to be more inconspicuous about it. Or, like, be, like, very, like, jump up here, get back here, and then Z-jump, um, Z-jump the belt really fast, and then it'll launch, right? But doing that, very obvious. She's going to a contest you here. Okay, well the bell stops you from her contest you, but still. Why did she fourth though? I thought fourth was better. Yeah, she likes to cover your neutral get up, so rolling here is fun. You burn double jump and air dodge again. Oh. It's not good. Robbie's ego with that one. Oh, that's. Oh, there's the witch type the into the obby yeah. into the back air. All right. So what I got to say about this is air dodging and double jump. Those are very, very, very important things that we need to be managing a little bit better. Landing that landing with high jump more often and not so much landing with the aerials or double jumping or air dodging at a disadvantage. Di more so di outwards and look for opportunities to land the hydrant. Or if you can't, just grab ledge, right? Disadvantage is very important to play safe and not so much push button to get out, right? You need to play smarter and slower in disadvantage, right? Um, taking X percent is much better than dying. So, or losing stage control. Stop dodging me early here right, and missing ledge. Good players will catch on to that. Stop air dodging so much after landing here. Good players will catch on to that, That's right? Um, you gotta cover her stupid side on a ledge, like kind of how you were jumping aggressively here, right? Um, we gotta practice Ginkgo. We definitely gotta practice Ginkgo more often. And we gotta practice Bell Neutral. When I made my Bell Neutral, is we gotta learn how to like chase her. We gotta play. We gotta practice playing the cat and mouse game with the Bell. You kind of just threw it immediately. You got. Which I'm, what I see is that you're a very impatient Pac Man. Like, you like to. Right? We, we gotta catch on to what your, our opponents like to do post throwing fruit at them, which is side B or should, side B or counter. Right? Uh, I think that's about it, right? N the reason that we lost is because we're not playing very smart, right? Um, that's all I got to say about this. See ya.